Today's creature of the day is the Albertosaurus. Its name means Alberta lizard because of its discovery in Alberta, Canada. It's also been reported found in Montana, Wyoming, New Mexico, and Alaska, along with Mexico. Many of these findings are possibly a different genus, some kind of unidentified tyrannosaur attributed to Albertosaurus for now. It lived during the late Cretaceous, 71 to 68 million years ago. It grew up to 33 feet or 10 meters long and weighed between 1.5 and 4 tons. It was more slender than other tyrannosaurs and had a small skull and low leg bones. It had up to 80 serrated teeth for slicing the flesh of prey, like Pachyrhinosaurus, Orhinoceratops, and Edmontosaurus. It was much faster than Tyrannosaurus, potentially running up to 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. It likely exhibited social pack behavior, cooperating to take down large prey. The oldest specimens were 28 years old. It went extinct due to environmental changes and competition with other predators. Described by Henry Fairfield Osborne Sr. in 1905, there's one known species, Albertosaurus sarcophagus. I love that name. In media, it's appeared in Dino Dan, Jurassic Fight Club, Primeval New World, Prehistoric Park, March of the Dinosaurs, The Land Before Time series, Dinosaur King, Dink the Little Dinosaur, Walking with Dinosaurs 2, Prehistoric, Jurassic Pet, Jurassic World Evolution, and other Jurassic World games, The Isle, and Combat of Giants, Dinosaurs. Well, that's a very cool, potentially pack-hunting tyrannosaur. That would be cool to see in real life, but probably terrifying to encounter in the wild. Anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.